Hello and welcome to Radio News Broadcasting on Thailand Radio and Television Station with some latest events in Thailand Province as well as in nationwide. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, after a day of urgent and serious work with a spirit of solidarity, democracy and high responsibility, the 15th session of the 10th Provincial People's Council, term 2021-2026, has completed on the contents and programs set out and closed on the afternoon of September 25th. In this section, the Provincial People's Council passed 14 formative resolutions with a high approval rate. The resolutions passed at these sections are very important and urgent, serving the work of operating, managing, and developing the private social economy in the short and long term according to the provisions of law and in accordance with the practical situation of the locality, contributing to promoting the private social economic development. Regarding the group of resolutions on legal norms promulgating important mechanisms, policies and contents related to the interests of the people, the businesses and the social economic development, the provincial people's committee is requested to direct the sectors and localities based on the resolution of provincial people's council to promptly provide full information and implement specific and detailed instructions so that on the level sector calls civil servants, the people and businesses especially those directly affected, can agree and participate in implementing the resolution. Regarding the key projects approved by the Provincial People's Council for the investment policy and this section, the Provincial People's Committee is requested to direct investors to promptly complete investment projects, implement projects on schedule. The Provincial Party Secretary and Chairman of the Provincial People's Council, Winston Tam, also requested that, for the order resolutions, the Provincial People's Committee direct the review and have a plan for reforestation or a document completing the responsibility to pay for reforestation according to the provisions of the law on forestry, continue to review and resolutely revoke investment policies, and land reclamation for cars of lands allocation and land lease that has expired but have not been implemented yet, and timely announce and publicize the cancellation of the process with land reclamation and land use proper change in accordance with the provision of the land law. Previously also at the 15th section, the delegates of the Prince of People's Council unanimously voted to pass resolution to dismiss Mr. Nguyen Thanh Phong, Vice Chairman of the Prince of People's Council, retired according to the policies from the position as deputy head of the Economic and Budget Committee of the Prince of People's Council for the 2021 to 2026 terms, and to dismiss Mr. Le Antung, former Director of the Department of Ministry and Freight, due to the transfer to another position from the positions of member of the Prince of People's Committee for the 2021 and 2026 terms and to dismiss Mr. Tu Van Hong, former Director of the Department of Health, and due to transferring to another position from the member of the Provincial People's Committee for the 2021 to 2026 term. The meeting also elected Mr. Lian Tam, Deputy Director of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, to the position as Deputy Head of the Economic and Purchase Committee of the Provincial People's Council, and Mr. Pham Dung Chan, Director of the Department of Industry and Trade, to position as member of the Provincial People's Committee. As a result, both received 100% of the votes of the delegates present at the meeting. And ladies and gentlemen, on the afternoon of September 25th, under the chairmanship of Mr. Winton Tom, member of party central committee, secretary of the provincial party committee, chairman of the provincial people's council, and Mr. Nguyen Dai Thi, member of the provincial party committee, standing committee, permanent vice chairwoman of the provincial people's council, the 15th section, the special section of the people's council of the Nen province, from the 10 for the tenure of 2021 to 2026, completed on the content center program proposed and passed. 14 important resolutions with the high consensus of the delegates of the Rinso People's Council. 
with a serious and responsible spirit. The delegates of the Brinsal People's Council discussed their opinions and voted to pass the resolution, and typically adjusting and supplementing the medium-term public investment plan for the period of 2021 to 2026 from the state budget. Expected the medium-term public investment plan for the period of 2026 and 2030 from the state budget, adjusting the project area and approving the list of projects allowed to convert the purpose of using spectral yield for land to other purposes in the province in the third phase of 2024. Regulation on supporting the connection of wastewater from house on to the collection network of the rainy system in the province and regulation on supporting the implementation of social housing construction investment projects in the province and many other important contents also. Speaking at the meeting, Mr. Winton Tam, member of the party central committee, secretary provincial party committee, emphasized that in order to well implement the resolutions approved by the provincial people's council, he requested that immediately after the meeting, the provincial people's committee direct department, branches, and localities, according to their assigned functions and tasks, to focus on implementing the drastic and synchronous solutions soon putting the resolution into life and achieving the highest efficiency. On the morning of September 25th, the Department of Science and Technology of Tainan organized a training course on knowledge and skills in applied research and innovation for small and medium enterprises in Tainan province in 2024. During one day, nearly 100 trainees from departments, branches, sectors, social political organizations, the People's Committee of District, Town, and Tenen City, enterprises in the province listen to Dr. Pham Thi Hong Phuong, head of the Ecotech Village, head of the Department of Chemical Technology Materials, Ho Chi Minh City University of Industry, discuss the concept, importance of applied research and innovation, and state policies to support innovation, the basic scientific research methods, tools to support innovation, such as design and thinking, lean startups, and intellectual property management, marketing and commercialization of new products. And through the training course, the further promoting the road of the Department of Science and Technology of Tenen in accompanying and supporting businesses in the province in research, application, and innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, to overcome the shortcomings and be consistent with the law on social insurance, the draft law amending and supplementing a number of articles of the law on health insurance has added subjects participating in and responsible for paying health insurance. This content has received many favorable opinions from the National Assembly Standing Committee. However, the opinions also suggested that the drafting agency should carefully and comprehensively assess the impact of expanding the verbs of subjects covered by the state budgets and supported to pay by the state budgets. Every and with the addition to the draft law of subjects, non-professional activities at the commune level and village midwives covered by the state budgets and supported to pay, the Vice Chairman of the National Assembly, Nguyen Kaklin, said that this is also a recommendation of many voters recorded through the contest. The voters who contacted them also said that they have a lot of work and therefore they work day and night with the people so the budget supports them. I think medical staff to villages and hamlets is very hard and important so we agree to add them. However, there are also opinions suggesting that the impact of the state budgets when adding these subjects should be carefully assessed. The subject brought into villages and hamlets and the midwives are also concerned and considered carefully, agreed to be supported but need to assess the impact of the state budgets and there are thousands of communes, each commune has from two to three people and there needs to be statistics. The regulations say that there are not commune civil servants. Non-professional staff have been carefully reviewed and the budget as well. The number of midwives in the whole country is not many, just 1,600 people and has been supported by the Ministry of Finance and other agencies. According to Minister of Tao Hong Lang, the routing agency has and will continue to fully review on the subjects to achieve the goal of universal health insurance, especially the vulnerable the poor, the near poor, and the meritorious, the disadvantages, to ensure that no one is left behind.
And on the morning of September 25th, Tax Department of Tenant Surrey Chau Than organized a conference to implement the new tax policies and business dialogue in the third quarter of 2024. At the conference, the businesses were informed by tax officials about the number of new tax policies as well as preferential policies issued by the National Assembly and the government. To change the policy on reducing value-added tax according to the resolution of the National Assembly and registration fee for cars, travelers or semi-travelers pulled by car and vehicles similar to cars manufactured and assembled domestically. At the conference, the tax department of the city Chau Than also listened to and accepted opinions and contributions on strengthening discipline order, correcting the attitude and behavior of tax officials towards taxpayers, and promoting administrative procedures reform, creating favorable conditions for the payers. And ladies and gentlemen, on the afternoon of September 24, the Digital Media and Commercial Submit Meeting of 2024 event, organized by MCV Media and Technology Group, officially took place in the Human City. With a theme, Premium Contents and Social Commerce Solutions, the event attracted more than 400 guests from brands, content providers, content creators, and media units. The event took place with two main discussion sections, including how to increase revenue sources from the content and channels on the social networks, ideas for combining content, advertising and sales, and connecting advertising on premium content and multi-platform sales during the big season, which attract the attention of many content providers, content creators, and media partners also. And the event provided in-depth perspectives on many hot issues in the fields of digital media and e-commerce, and at the same time, experts from the units also share practical experiences as well as new strategies on how to create and consume high-quality content. Director of Digital MCV Group said that this event will be an opportunity to connect and open up many new cooperation potentials for the units in the sector. Also at the Digital Media and Commercial Summit 2024 event, many experts emphasize that traditional radio and television are gradually being digitalized to catch up with new technology trends, while effectively exploiting digital platforms and social networks. One of the main topics discussed at the event was the strong development of OTT over the top services and online television. Technology such as artificial intelligence, AI, and big data have applied to personalized content and helping TV channels not only reach but also understand the audience better and thereby improving their service quality and viewer experience. Through today's event, we, the Nvidia Television Station, have also had a deeper approach to OTT and AI platforms in the fields of radio and television broadcasting. And through that basis, we will research and further develop information to bring it to everyone exploiting and developing OTT and applying AI, artificial intelligence also. In addition, commercialization models in digital radio and television are also special interest. Targeted advertising and integrating commercial content in broadcast programs are becoming a trend, bringing new sources of revenue to traditional radio and television stations in the context of the fierce competition with the local digital platforms. When participating in this program, I really appreciate the sharing of the experts and especially through short videos on the platforms and those types of short videos will provide extremely fast news for the television industry. TV events. Today I'm very happy to participate in MCV's event to share the TV programs, television and film experiences in this event. This conference is not only an opportunity for broadcasting units to update technology, but also a forum to discuss how to build an effective digital strategy from digital transformation to expanding influence on digital platforms and the social networks. And ladies and gentlemen, in response to the call to the Vietnam Finland Front Committee of the Nan Province, many associates, unions, organizations, individuals, as well as in the province, have directly come to the headquarters of Vietnam Finland Front Committee of of the province to support the people in the northern provinces affected by the storms and floods. According to the reporter's records, 
On the morning of September 25th, the representative board of the Gao Dai Tinan Haulisi came to support the amount of more than 177 million Vietnam Dong. Firm officials and soldiers of the Tinan Provincial Border Guard also supported more than 4,000 million Vietnam more than 400 million Vietnam Dong, and along with the contributions and support of many other associates, unions, organizations, and individuals, as well, with a total amount received being over 305 million Vietnam Dong. And as of 3 p.m. on September 25th, the Vietnam Finland Front Committee of the Nan Province has received for 10 billion. 900 million Vietnam Dong and 100 USD to support the people in the northern province affected by the storm number three. The Southern Irrigation Exploitation One Member Limited Liability Company has just discharged water from the spillway of Yauting Reservoir with a discharge flow of 100 cubic meters per second. A discharge period is expected to last until October the 1st. At the time of spillway discharge, the water level of Yauting Reservoir was at 22.76 meters high, and the flow to the reservoir was about 200 cubic meters per second. The Southern Irrigation Exploitation Company has proactively notified the Steering Committee of Disaster Prevention, Control and Search and Rescue at all levels, localities, and related units to direct coordinate and notify and notify the people in the downstream area of the reservoir to be proactive in production and livelihood plans and prevent possible damage. And depending on the hydrometeorological situation in the basin, the lack water level and the tides in the downstream of the Saigon River, the lake management unit will adjust the time in and discharge flow to suit the active situation and will have the earliest notice to the adjustment plan so that the people and authorities can proactively wrap the information. Ladies and gentlemen, following Uncle Ho's teaching, young people do small things. According to their strength, many schools in Tenen province have launched the movement to raise funds to support people affected by storm number three. At Yumjo Town Primary School in Yumjo District, there have been many examples of students actually participating in donations. Although the amount of money donated is not large, their actions have contributed to spreading goodness, inspiring many people to follow suit. During the pain and loss caused by storm number no. 8 to people in the northern provinces, Thu Thuy and Bao Trâm decided to bring the money they saved from pricing piggy banks to the school to donate. They raised 1,996,000 Vietnamese dong, Jump raised 1,031,000 Vietnamese dong. Seeing the students hurt, the provincial supported the two students to donate the money directly at the Board of Relief Mobilization of Yum Chau District. Stemming from my feelings for my friends, I donate my money so that my friends can have school beds, books and clothes to go to school like us. I hope my friends can overcome difficulties and have clothes, books and go to school like us. I saw my friends had no clothes, no book, and could not go to school, so I brought the piggy bank that I had saved for the past year, which was the money I had saved as helping my mother with housework, my excellent student status, and my breakfast money to give to my friends in the flood area. I hope my friends have clothes, books, and can go to school like me and overcome difficulties. The signing example of kindness of Thu Thuy and Bao Trâm has spread strongly. Yum Châu Town Primary School launched a fundraising campaign for all students. Accordingly, the total amount of money raised by Yum Châu Town Primary School on September 23rd was more than 12 million Vietnam dong. That many is safe from snack and from the Moon Boy and Moon Lady custom contest, and I want my friends to have both. And close to go to school, I hope that the storm in the north will pass and my friends can live at home and go to school. I want to say the difficulties with my friends in the north who are flooded and I hope they can go to school and have school bags, books and clothes to go to school. 
Desmond but meaningful actions of the students of young Delta Primary School have demonstrated the spirit of young people to small things, savings, books, and school supplies. That is the kindness and sincere sharing of the children. That spirit not only spreads in the school, but also contributes to building the tradition of national solidarity, arousing the sense of social responsibility from a young age. And that's all for today, TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.